And so she wrote men pretending to be women into her books. She, after the fact, queered Dumbledore. And like, that's not in the books at all. What I, from my knowledge, because I never watched any of the like prequel movies, I'm pretty sure they didn't even put it in that, even though there's a Grindelwald movie. I didn't like, watch any of those movies either, but that was like the big thing that people were losing their fucking minds over is that she did an entire movie about like Dumbledore when he was younger and the guy that was his boyfriend. But in that movie, like magically, somehow they're not gay on screen and it never magically comes up. And why is, then why did you make him gay? <laughs> Yeah, so it was all just lip service from the beginning, and unlike, <laughs> unlike Rick, who was like, actually, I I love queer people. I have had queer students, and I feel bad that I did not do enough for them. Like he is an angel compared to her when it comes to this whole issue. Yeah, he is a he's such a sweetheart when it comes to that, and that, and the thing that I know I said this in like one of our first episodes. I said that Rick is somebody that is not perfect he makes mistakes but he also is open to hearing what those yeah. mistakes are and is open to like changing and he does that like he he like realizes like okay yeah a lot of my books had a lot of straight people in them so now let's like make whoever you want queer and let's make like nico is like let's make nico and will like gay or bisexual let's have like gender fluid characters let's do whatever you want and the sexuality of like the all the other characters are pretty much up in the air and mm -hmm. he like will listen to what fans say about why we think that person might be this identity or whatever and if it makes sense to him he'll can he actually thinks about it and will like might put it in his story as opposed to jk rowling who just like mocks you yeah. basically if you even have a different idea about her story than what she wants and everybody is so fucking straight in like wolf star is the biggest example of that right where everybody loves the idea of remus and lupin being in love but no no we can't have that we're gonna have lupin fall in love with a girl that's much younger than her and they're both gonna die and sirius is gonna die alone 